think one of the criticisms that we sometimes see is that is that as you become more theoretical, perhaps you're more and more abstracted from the phenomenon itself. And so I'm just wondering if you can comment on the, 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 that sort of aspect, but also sort of why is it important to stay sort of closely connected to the phenomenon itself? Well, part of it is being at a business school. And uh, I, would, I said, you know, I was a psychologist in business school clothing. But I think um, there are values and demands and norms about being in a business school that suggest we, we should be concerned about those issues. And, and it's different from being in a psychology department. And, uh, you know, I for years had colleagues in the psychology department who'd never talked to anybody in an organization, and they weren't particularly interested in it. So, uh, I guess we do three things, or we try to do a set of things when we get involved in a new research area. You know, we talk to friends, so we just ask people, and they may be psychologists and they may not be psychologists, but we do. We talk to them and we say, you know, what do you think this is about? Do you think people get embedded in jobs? And, you know, what does that mean? What is courage in a business organization? And, you know, I can think of different things. What are events? You know, when I talk about our event research, I ask people all the time, tell me events that, you know, precipitated you leaving or events that made you, you, made you stay uh, on a job. So talking to people is, is one thing. We ask students, and students often have a more reflective and more professional and targeted kind of set of ideas. And so they're using the base of our research foundation. But we always do. We always talk to our students about things that we're, we're thinking about. And then we've often done focus groups and interviews before we've done any research on a topic. So that's certainly true, for example, with the job embeddedness work. It's the, the more recent stuff that we did on humility, the stuff we did on leadership and, and courage and, and, and events. As I said, we, we've talked to people about that. So, so that's become part of the process of research for me. But then I would, I would add that I think it, it's healthy. I mean, I think it's good for us to do that because I think it's easy to get lost in the theory and, and not know how it, uh, how it corresponds to what's going on. I think laboratory studies, which you know, often are what get criticized as being you know, too incremental, too small, um, they certainly don't dominate our field.